that you can shake a pogo stick at the Auckland Live Cabaret Festival is back and joining us direct from the UK to tell us about her world premiere show is our favourite diva with one of the biggest voices in cabaret. Please welcome to the cafe, Miss Frisky. Hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> believe it has been almost a year since we had you here with our Frisky and Manish that show yes, last year. Yes, I know. So what have you been up to? Oh, well, I, it's <laughs> what's really weird is I feel like I sort of live here now because after I was here with my beloved Manish and with a double act, I went and I did a really long contract in Austria and then I came immediately back to Auckland with the show La Soiree for the arts festival oh, right. uh, being the diva in that show. And then now I've just had a bit of a break and I'm back here again. So I feel like... When I'm doing something interesting, it's here. We start in Auckland, that's where we kick off, and then we go on from here. You, you're Excellent. an honorary Kiwi now. Oh, stop sure. it. Thank you so much. You're welcome excited. anytime, because last year when I saw your show with Manish, it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I oh, say, that's like, I was kind. just about peeing my pants <laughs> with laughter, so I'm very curious to know what this show's like this year. Nothing like that at all. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. No. Um, well, it's different because... But you'll still be fabulous. Well, naturally. Um, <laughs> No, because with Manish, the show we were doing, it was quite political, really, because, there's, you know, I know it's, it's political time here as well right now, you know, oh, a lot yeah, going on. Um, and we felt like we needed to address that. And then after we did that, we went, let's just run away and be completely ridiculous. So um, he's very busy at the moment doing a show about the carpenters, very different from politics, and I'm here <laughs> doing a show about karaoke. So it's really, this one's about... Just having fun, letting rip. See, the thing is, when you say karaoke, that implies that the audience might get a shot at the mic. I mean, I doubt that, knowing myself. But it's but highly unlikely I'm going to give up the microphone for more than two seconds. That's good, because you always get that one person when you're out, that one person who thinks hogs they can the sing really well, yeah. who hogs the mic. But All for right. you, it was your friends, wasn't it? They were like, we just want to come up with a whole bunch of songs and we'd like you to sing them rather exactly. than me. Exactly, yeah, because I was, I was talking about people about doing a show and what it might be and what it might do, and there's so many fabulous cabaret artists out there that are doing really beautiful, intricate, crafted pieces of work. And um, I just thought, I don't even know where to start. And my friend just said, look, all I want, really want to do is just sit down and tell you what I want you to sing. It's like, I want to hear you sing this, I want to hear you sing Whitney, I want to hear you sing Britney, just, I want to choose. And I was like, well, um, sure. Um, so we tried a few versions of it and it ended up just being so much fun. It's just yeah. so silly, because at the end of the day, everyone's going to hear a song that they want to hear yeah. that you can't really argue with that. So you actually ask the audience what they want to hear, yeah. or you're so so you could be. Well, how do you learn them then, or you just have to go with the ones that you already know? This is where the karaoke element comes in. I will have the words. Oh. So it is a karaoke. Oh, I've actually got sponsorship from a company called Zoom Karaoke. Very kindly provided me with a kind of catalogue to work with. Sure. Right. So I've got a little catalogue of things there. But I will do anything if I can find it on YouTube and if I feel like it. Is there anything <laughs> that you'd like to perform? The songs that you'd like people to ask for. Yes and no. There are, it, it entirely depends on mood, you know. Some days you're like, you know what, I just want to, I just want to sit back and I want to just, you know, belt my way through something, some Mariah. And then other days you're like, oh, that's so much effort. Why would you do that? Yeah. And then other days you're like, you know, I, I'm, because I have a very diverse taste of music. You know, I, yeah. when I was a kid, I was growing up and I was listening to like Limp Biscuit and like right. Papa Roach. <laughs> and, like I was a like little rap metal kid, um, but also musicals. So, you know, somewhere in the middle. And is I know you do a mean is. living on a prayer. I know oh, you do stop. and absolutely, well, we've heard Shaggy <laughs> and <laughs> Don't Dream It's Over too. I've seen you do wow. a stunning version of that. Can, so. you, can, you can throw things at me and you know what? I'll just give it a whirl. Could, could you do something wait. like Rage Against the Machine? I would love that. That would be amazing. <laughs> can you imagine? Just get our full mosh on. I'd go in. I would go for it. So what's next? For you, after the festival. After this, after this, I'm actually going to Berlin for uh, quite a long time. So I'm going to be doing a dinner cabaret show in Berlin. That sounds very cabaret. It's so cabaret, isn't it? That's like the most cabaret thing that ever happened, is this in Berlin. Fabulous. It'll be fun. So oh. we, you're going to perform something for us, aren't you? Uh, well, that's up to you guys. I've been thinking about this because I know that we're in the spirit of the show, what I would like to hear you sing, having heard you do some other stuff, is yes. a little Anastasia, and <laughs> okay. I'm thinking I'm out of love. Oh, that is a classic. Yeah. Okay, well, um, okay, I will go check on the and words and give it a whirl. You the words wait. and you will be fine. Hey, it's been an absolute pleasure having you so here. So lovely to see you again. Thank you. Um, Miss Frisky's karaoke experience is at the Basement Theatre this Friday and Saturday. For tickets, you can go to aucklandlive.co.nz.
my time has come. 